How's everybody going today? Rock and roll, people. We've got Joe Schweitzer here with Expert Interrogations. Uh, he's in the uh, he's in the hot seat today, so we're we're, we're super super excited. Uh, I want to go over a few things. How how you doing though, Joe? How you doing? Excellent. Uh, thanks for having me, Michael. This is going to be awesome. Good, good, good. Well, I want to go over a few things, guys, uh, of just what to expect on the call and uh, how everything works. So we're here on the Spreecast platform, which Unfortunately, right this second isn't working on iPads and iPhones, but um, so you probably can't see that, but that's something that's coming soon, but that's all cool. And then what you want to do is if you guys want to, anybody who's in guest mode, which there's a number of you, if you want to participate in the chat or you want to submit a question, which we'll be taking, we'll be bombarding him with, you know, rapid fire questions here on the second half of the call. So if you want to get your questions in, be sure to hit submit a question below Joe, and then you'll be able to, uh, it'll get queued up in the screen queue there and like I said later in the show we'll answer those questions but you have to log in via either Facebook or Twitter or you can create your own account but Facebook and Twitter are the easiest uh, if you have any issues just refresh the page and then finally we're trying to keep these expert interrogations very business oriented on the the business side of video production uh, for, for people so when we ask the questions if you kind of keep them business related we'd appreciate that um, no tech questions uh, for the most part um, that's what we're trying to, we, we feel over here where, where the show is sponsored by Create Insights, which there's a link at the top, and that's myself and my partner Chris Simmons. We have an educational site. We're really trying to help video professionals take their business to the next level. There's a lot of uh, people who are very talented and can't get any work, and so we're wanting to fill that gap and help you guys out. So you can check out that link. If you want to stay notified of any uh, future expert interrogations, put your email in either above or below. And uh, we'll only we'll be updating you with future calls. We've got a lot of rock stars coming up in the in the next month or so. And I think that's about it. So we're we're gonna get this get this party started here uh, with Joe. And up front, just give me a brief overview of where you started, the little process you've been through, and where you're at today. And then we'll get into what we're gonna talk about is is how team's been valuable uh, to Joe and his in his whole business, um, the corporate side of things the photo video fusion that they've got going on and, and kind of the progression that they've gone with that. And then also personality is going to be the final thing we kind of talk about. But up front, let's, uh, let's hear it on what you've got going on over there and, uh, you know, where you've been, where you came from. You got it. You got it. Hey, uh, could, am I echoing? Can everybody hear me okay? Am I good? Hey, um, okay, cool. Well, uh, like I said, Michael, thanks for having me. This is awesome. I'm going to take these headphones off so I can hear a little bit better. Um, get these off here. Uh, so, actually, you are. Yeah, so. Hold on one second. Actually, do you have those headphones again? It looks like you are echoing. Am I echoing? Okay, let me put on my other ones right here, right by me here. Uh, but as I'll, I'll get started here one second um, as I fumble around for these. Hold on, guys. One second here. One technical little thing. We'll rock and roll here. Um, again, guys, we're going to have Q&A at the end of the call here in the last, like, 30 minutes. So after we get – I'm going to drill uh, Joe with some questions, and then he's going to give a little brief uh, introduction. And then essentially you guys will be able to ask questions. So you do that right below Joe with the submit a question, and then we'll queue it up in the last half of the, the call. So uh, rock and roll. I think we should be good to go. And we're off. Okay. Is that better? Is that there better? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. 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 Okay. So, um, so, so where we started, I guess I'll give you like a little brief history about us is where we started. Yeah, please. So, so, so we're about a nine-year-old company. We started here, uh, we're in the Midwest, so we're, we're here in the, this thing's really echoing. Hold on one second. So we're, we're in the sorry. Midwest. This, yeah, sorry for the exact language. It was terrible. So, so we're in about half of our business is weddings, about half, and the other half is corporate. Um, nine, year, nine years ago when we started, we're just like, I think like a lot of you guys, we, we just started with a simple, a simple wedding for a few hundred dollars in, in, a, in a VFW hall somewhere here in the Midwest. So we, we started with, with, the, with nothing, with really no, no, no grand vision. And in the beginning, of course, and then over all the years here, it's become, um, 
it's become a, a nice balance for us, but we're, uh, what we're at today is, it, it just, we can't believe it. It's, uh, we, have a, we have a great team here. We have four people. So we have, we're kind of separate in the video or separate in the photo. Our, our, our four people that we have here, uh, two of us are, are focused on the video side. Um, I am the one that is more of the, uh, on the video side. So that kind of gives you like a, a breakdown of where we're at today. There's, there's four of us. Um, but we're all full time, and uh, you know, we, uh, we reside here in the Midwest. Half of our business is here in the Midwest, and the other half is, is we're traveling everywhere from you know on the Bahamas and Hawaii and California and New York, all over the place, wherever business takes us. And so is that is the, is the traveling happening? Can you hear me okay, Joe? I can. Okay. So is the business, you've got the weddings and you've got the corporate work. It's about 50-50 now. Is you, are you traveling just as much the 50-50 for corporate as you are for weddings? You're, you're finding, you know, if you, if whatever, if you had 50 corporate jobs or 25 of those, you know, local and then 25 traveling and then the same thing for weddings. If you had 25 weddings, half and half there, um, I, you know, are you finding a good balance of the travel and staying home? Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd say so. I'd, I would say so. Um, I would say, uh, I would say the the majority of our stuff still is within uh, driving distance in the Midwest. Okay. But every year that that does change, and I think I think nowadays, gosh, all of us look at what we're, we're traveling with, all these small cameras and, and the equipment that we have with lighting. We can jump on a plane and pretty much do a shoot anywhere we want in the U.S. with 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 ease. It doesn't really matter anymore where you're located. Mm -hmm. But I, I can I can see I tell you what the trend is in just a few years I'm, I mean we'll do more and more away from here in the Midwest and, and just everywhere else because just because traveling is going to be so easy and uh, and and our clients are you know they're not all in your backyard you know what I mean so well what what allowed you because have you been doing corporate from the get go when did the fifty fifty shift come like how much were you just doing weddings in the beginning and then you started doing corporate or or how did that kind of progress. Sure. Is it, am I still echoing up there? It looks like it's still getting echo. Coming. No, I, I don't think so. He said, I'm not getting any echo at all. I'm not, I'm not hearing an echo. You, you should be good. Yeah, we're good. All right. Okay. Um, so yeah. so the, the question of, uh, what your question about being able to, was it? Yeah, did you, did you balance? start? Did you start with weddings and, and did you start with corporate at the same time or did you do predominantly like for me, I mean, it was 90-10. I mean, I was doing 90% weddings and 10% corporate work um, and then that's, that's progressively shifted. What was that like for you at the beginning? Yeah, I think a lot of these guys out there, a lot of you guys here online today listen to this. In the beginning, I don't know how it was for you guys, but it was mostly weddings for us and the, the real shift kind of happened not by us going out and knocking on doors and, and uh, making cold calls. It really happened with um, us going, do it, doing weddings, doing same-day edits, posting videos online. You know, the, the law of large numbers, and the, and the best salespeople are your, your clients and your customers who are all seeing your work. In, in a lot of senses, they, they've come to us. They really have. They, uh, the balance here now that, that corporate's really overtaken our, our wedding business didn't happen overnight. It was a slow trend, but it all started with weddings. I mean, our business is built same day edits, music videos from from the weddings. People see that they're 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 like, you know what? The Schweitzer film can can do that and can take a wedding day and in three minutes show me that night. Imagine what they could do with you know a week a week's worth of work for on a corporate shoot or something. They and that's you know the weddings you guys go to. Yeah, there's CEOs in the room, there's marketing people, there's people at ad agencies. You just run into people, you're going to bump heads with the right person, relationships, doing good work, genuinely caring and being passionate. That's what the trend didn't happen. I mean, it was a slow trend that started, but it continues to grow and build because we care We uh, at these weddings and we start, that's where the weddings, that's where the relationship started and we just, now we're nurturing our relationships, building uh, on the relationships we have. And so we're still going out and, 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 and at times, going after new business, but it's it's most of it's coming to us from the relationships we have. So, have you you found that 
you know, we can kind of maybe go a little bit in reverse here with with the personality. If you want to pull out one of your things that you just you just got there, if it's still sitting there, uh, you guys get gifts of different things all the time. And we were talking before the call about just how important personality, the way you present yourself, is is almost more important than the work at times. Although the work is is a huge component. That honestly, if, if I'll be quite frank, guys, if you're if you're an asshole and you're not really treating people, you can go so far. But I think that to me, sometimes the the word of mouth is less. I think if you're not friendly, if you're not um, you know personable, and and like you said, just the handshake, how you how as soon as the first impression is so important. And if you're kind of this hard person to get a hold, you know, get along with, although your work can be amazing, and there'll be the numbers of people who are going to put up with that that ultimately you might always be fishing for new business because those people, you know, may not be as excited to tell people about you as, as in your case, people are just dying to be around you and sending you presents and you're hanging out with people. So tell us, right. tell us a little bit about that. You know, I, I can't tell you, I can't tell people enough how I think, I think most of the people that hire you, they're making the decision in 30 seconds or less. So, I mean, it really comes down, like, I think the biggest challenge that everybody has is just doing the good common sense things. I think the fundamentals of just uh, of introducing yourself to someone, looking at them in the eye, um, not, ha you know, not having stinky, stinky coffee breath. I mean, this is, I know this is very basic things, but it seems like, like if you do these basic things very well, I mean, you, yeah, okay, because you because you're charming. You walk in a room and you're charming, you have enthusiasm. I'm telling you, it goes a long way, and that makes... And that makes everything. I'm telling you. Um, uh, of course, you can have everything else to back it up. Yeah. You can't be a terrible filmmaker and then have a great handshake and, and make loads of money. But uh, but I am telling you that people judge you. They judge you by what you wear. Okay, they do. You walk into a room. If you're if everyone's wearing a suit and tie and you and you show up in your in your Converse shoes and shorts, you know you got to you have to use your good common sense. You have to match the atmosphere you're at. You go in there. You do the basic things really well. Uh, I can't, I mean, phone calls, you can, I mean, everyone, just a daily phone call, if the phone rings here at Swipes Realm today, you have to treat every call like it's a twenty, thirty thousand $30,000 phone call coming in. It's so important. Every time you have a chance to engage with clients, you never know what's going to happen there. You never know. You never know who you're going to sit down to on a bus. Some of the biggest people that we, the biggest relationships we have now with our, with our best people, they've come from, I'm telling you, sitting down on a bus, picking up a freaking phone call. And if you are tired and you're like, oh gosh, you know, I got in the office, I'm, um, I'm crabby, the, you know, whatever, and, and you pick up that phone and you, and you don't pick it up with energy and enthusiasm, and like they are the best, uh, number one client in the world. If you don't do that, you might be missing out on the next big thing because most of our clients that we have are not just one and done anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay, even your clients, you think, oh, they're just they're going to get married, right? They're not. They're, it's one and done. I don't need to really that one. Bride and groom, man. We we have one couple that's even yesterday. This is another. This is like they got married eight years ago and they're still sending us clients. I think some of our I know some of our clients. Wedding bride and grooms have sent us six figures of business our way, and they're still doing it. Now we are we're 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 friends with them on Facebook. We're genuine friends, and I think if you're genuine with your people, I mean our best friends, our family, the people we know, I mean. They are, they're our clients. There's, there's no denying that, you know, we, we have all this. They are everything to us, and they know that. Um, so I can't stress that enough by, I guess, to sum all this up, is, is, is great introductions. They are everything. And treat every phone call, treat every conversation, treat any time. Like I said, one of the biggest clients we ever had, I sat down by accident on the bus to him. You just never know Airplanes, where you're going to meet that one person. All sorts of stuff. Every. And I, I, that always sounds so, everyone's like, oh, it sounds so cheesy to say that, you know, a day in your life, you know, you sit down by the right person and your life can change. But I'm not kidding you. Um, it can't, and it, and it will if, if you give it a chance. Absolutely, so. man. I mean, I, I'll add to that for just one second is, is you know, I, when I was getting coached by, by Chris, actually, Chris Simmons, he couldn't make the call today, had a, had a big shoot. You know, he used to say in this one ebook, he was like, you know, I, I get my hair cut at actually a more expensive place, though, just at this example, like at a more expensive place because the right kind of people are there. And while I'm sitting talking to the, the hairstylist, there could be somebody sitting next to me. And he's had jobs that have come of that. And, and for me, I've been on the airplane. I've been here. I, 
I was just at, at, at Panera Bread Co. the other day, and the lady who was, who was waiting on me said, oh, my God, do I need to set up an appointment to talk to you or something? She was just joking. And the lady next to me goes, do I need to set up an appointment? Like, who are you? And then I just gave her my card and said a few things, and she's already emailed us with some stuff. You know, just, just crazy things. So, um, so anyways, let's um, – hold on. Let me make sure everybody can hear. I boosted up your – uh, let's see. Everybody hear me good? Okay. Um, so let's talk, let's talk about the, the photo video fusion thing you've got going on and kind of talk about the progression of that because at the, at the point in time that you really took it by the horns was when you were like, you know what? We love doing epic stuff at weddings and we're having some problems with some of the photographers. Not all of them. Like you said, maybe two out of ten. But it was still, you wanted to deliver the best for all your couples. Not just some of them, all of them. And so you decided to just take it on. We're like, you can't book Schweitzer Film unless you book us as our whole team. And that includes the photographer. So you can't have your own photographer. I know you got a lot through that whole process of how you were before that, during that, and then where you're at today to kind of give some people some insight when they're thinking about, you know, should I take on photography and add that to my services? How should I add that on? Uh, and just talk about that process for a minute. Yeah. So I, I know a lot of the guys out on, I mean, uh, most everyone on this call here today, you guys are video guys. You're, you're video guys and gals. And we, we started, you know, adding on more weddings and more and more and more. We thought that was a ticket, doing just more and more weddings. So seven years ago, 60 weddings, two groups of two, and at the end of that, it was it came. We, we had a lot of experiences with photographers that weren't so 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 pleasant, you know, because not all the time or do we um, always uh, see eye to eye, and not all you know, most photographers are, are great. They really are. They do mean well. I believe the majority do. But when you get those one or two bad apples, it ruins it for you and leaves a bad taste in your mouth. And we, as video make all, all you guys as, as filmmakers, you you got to have that thing that you, you're. What makes you special? What makes you what are you passionate about? What is going to make you different? And for us, after that year of 60 weddings, we had to ask ourselves, what is that going to be? Why are people going to hire us versus anybody else? Do we want to do 60 weddings again this following year? We, we, we really did. We all sat down. Like, you know what? I, I, we don't want to do 60 weddings. I feel like we're going to get burned out. We decided, we found the right, the right match, and she's a, a Katie. We found the right photographer, the right match for us. We were looking for it, and she came into our life, and we, we decided to do photography, add on photography, for, for the one reason we wanted to all be, and this is, in our, in our, this is not to sound macho or better than, but we, in our own way, in our, to make ourselves feel great, we wanted to do the best work in the world. We, we wanted to make the best wedding film we're capable of, uh, period. And we couldn't do that anymore by doing 60 weddings and breaking up into teams of two. So Katie, our, who is our photographer now, and has been with us for, for, uh, I guess five years now or so we, wow. we made that change it was it was really hard you guys know the majority of you guys are working really well with photographers you guys had these are your friends these uh, they're part of your income these guys are referring business to you I understand that I will tell you the hardest thing we've ever done the best thing we've ever done we've ever done is uh, is making the call and making the decision to do photo it's so uncomfortable it sounds terrible I know you guys are thinking oh my god I can never do that we decided to do photo and video only so in other words the next year we turned down hundred over a hundred thousand dollars in business people crying saying oh please what's your film do you, you mean you won't do video you do video for my sister and, and, and you know we had to say no because we had a mission our goal is to to make the best we could possibly make film. So to do that, we had to just do photo. everything we had. We had complete control. We had photo. We had video. The day is ours. And since then, we've modified that. We don't. We don't. Do, and, and I say, like I said, when you have the relationship with photographers, if you do decide to do your own photography, they will hate you. They will hate you for a while. They will come back. They will love. You'll be friends again. But in the beginning, they feel that, uh, well, you're the competition, right? Uh, at the end of the day, you guys know that there's, in the $75 billion wedding market, 
there's plenty of business out there, okay? Uh, I'm actually very close to Michael uh, here. We're very close to, not, not, not I can touch him right there, but no, but he's, uh, <laughs> he's in my area. And what's amazing is, we, I mean, I never run into him. I never, I, there's room for 70 of us. Yep. So they'll come back around, the photographers will, but understand that when you have total control, if you want to do something special, if you want to make the best of everything, you've got to have control. And the only way I feel to have total control is either really know that photographer really well, and maybe you guys, I know you have friends out there that you're comfortable with, and that's great. But if you do, go for it. That's cool. If you don't, if you're sick and tired of it, do it. Go do photo and cinema. Since we've done that, since we made that move, clients are happy because they have everything in one house, one-stop shop. The day's easy. We have less weddings. Now we're down to 20 weddings, 25 weddings, and our average price is, is, is over $12,000. We're having a blast. We're getting to know the couple. We're getting more referrals than ever. And we're having, I'm telling you, we're not sick of, our, of anything. And it's just, this is the best thing going. This year we did decide to do, or last year we decided to do photo or video. Um, they could do it individually now again. They could just hire us for video only or for photo only. But what they do is they pay a premium for that service. So if you get both, you get a huge discount. If you, if you decide to do separately, it's a, just a premium. But they, and some people decide to do that too because they, they grew up with a photographer or whatever. But that's really helped us. I think the key ingredient, people always ask all the time, swipes are felt, why? How do you guys see you guys everywhere do all these great things? And it's really, it's this, it's this team that's assembled, but it's, it's the photo thing that really helped us out more than anything. Do you, do, do, well, real quick before I, I say that, I just, we got a lot of new people on the call, a lot in guest mode. I just want to welcome everybody. We got Joe Schweitzer here from Schweitzer Film. Uh, his link's up on the screen. Uh, here in about 10 minutes, we're going to start taking Q&A, so get your questions in. Uh, we'll be doing that for about a half hour. You can do that right below Joe. It's submit a question. And um, keep them business related. We're trying to keep expert interrogations very business related for the video world. And, um, you know, keep it fun. But we're, we're, we're trying to keep it serious at the same time, guys. So, uh, and then if you want to do either one of those and you're in guest mode, you've got to log in via Facebook or Twitter, and then you'll be ready to rock and roll. So, um, so with that, do you feel that part of it helped? I mean, I know the same day edit's been a huge thing for referrals for you. Do you feel like that because everyone wants photography? Like every wedding has a photographer. I remember going to a lot of weddings and I talked to awesome photographers. They'd be like, ah, I did 35 weddings, you know, last year and there was maybe five video guys at those weddings, you know, and it's increasing. But do you feel like that's been part of what helped it out too is everybody. And then once they knew about your process, because obviously before when somebody had you, they'd want you first and they'd start to book you first. Now when you kind of have that whole package, that's just really like the holy grail for these people. Yeah. Yeah, so um, listen, I mean, by no means do you have to go out and start a photography business t tomorrow. Please don't. That is not what I'm saying. Uh, you guys, uh, what, I, what I'm saying is, is, is with a photographer, like, this, when I don't have you got to have control, as much control as you, as you can possibly have with them. How do you get that? How do you get that control with them? Well, if I don't know that person, I know this sounds crazy, but every single time I'm, I'm, having, I'm forcing a time for me to sit with that photographer. We're getting a cup of coffee somewhere. We're, we're having a nice phone call. I'm not going in there when I don't know this person. 99% of the time I'm meeting this person. I know I got to see them and shake their hand and know them before I just go in there that day. I, I don't, we don't treat wedding days like, oh, I'll show up there, grab some prep shots, mm, do a little post there, I'm going to shoot. Mm, you know, that, this is our baby. These are our children. Like, we, we love them. And to do, to fully take care of them and make sure it's the best one, you got to know that, you got to know that photographer. You guys are lucky, most of them are your friends, but if they're not, you still have to have that meeting beforehand to know them. Um, but to, to your question, Michael, the, the same day, the same day edit thing, I think you were kind of, yeah, Asking if that did a lot for for business. Yeah. You know what? We, we do charge, we used to just give it away, and it great, gives great exposure. It is the, it's, the, it's the number one marketing tool you'll ever have, I think, is showing the same day edit. The number one marketing tool. We have, we have found um, that you have to, some of the weddings you do, the, the, the luxury weddings, we'll call them. It, it, the same day edit, we've actually, we, we've taken it over. It, it, it's to set up this giant screen to turn the projector to, it. these wedding planners work 
very hard making these receptions beautiful. And uh, we have found we, we prefer to capture the reception um, and put that bit in Because whenever we show a SAMD edit, we, that, that video is done. Like, right. We don't have any reception put in there, that video is done. So to show off this reception that they've spent 50, 100,000, whatever thousand dollars they spent on these receptions, we really we prefer that would be in the video. So uh, if it's a luxury wedding, we're, we're typically we're, we're encouraging them to do what they want, but to maybe think about, hey, you might want to have your reception clips in, in the music video. Because like, I don't know how you guys style, their, I don't know how everyone styles their, their videos. Everyone's different, but we keep things very simple. It's, we're, we're giving our, um, at the end of the day, it's, what you see is what you get on the website. It's, it's a music video of the day. It's three or four minutes long. We're working, every, we're working hard to just for that music video. So mm -hmm. Got the it. same day edit, if there's no reception on there, it's kind of missing some of their, some of their day, which is fine because most of them, I mean, some of them, they just want the same day edit. Got to have it, got to have it. Right. Bottom line, it's the best marketing tool you ever have. It's the same day edit. The number one marketing tool. So you, you got to do them. But once you establish yourself and, you, and, you, and you've done your, this is, a, you, you don't have to do them all the time and go through the stress right. of doing them. Right. There's no better way to market your company. Well, and what I want everybody to notice here, and we're going to start taking the questions, is, you know, last week we had John Goolsby on, and again, on the archives page, you can check out the two we've had. We've had Ryan Coral, who I think is still on the call, possibly, uh, on first, and then we had John Goolsby. And especially John Goolsby, it really came through how passionate he is about what he does. He loves it. And there's a correlation, I think, we're going to see with all the people that we have on these expert interrogation guys, that... You've got to love what you do, and if you love what you do and you put your heart and soul into it, and you can tap onto the business side of things, which we're, we're here to help out with, you're going to crush it, because if, if you're not loving, if, 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 if the corporate or the weddings or whatever you're doing, you're, you're in pain every time you go out to do it, you're going to struggle, just plain and simple. It doesn't ha matter how personal you are, how great your work is, or whatever, it's that vibe you get off you know it sounds crazy I know I'm a little crazy when it comes to this but the universe gives back what you put out and like if, if you don't put out that vibe that you want this stuff it's no coincidence that you don't start to get more of it you know and and so um, if you want to add to that for just a second but again guys uh, submit your questions because we're gonna take the last half of the show here to rapid fire uh, questions on Joe and uh, keep it business related and we're gonna rock and roll here in just a sec so it, add to that for just a second and then um, kind of go from there. Well, so just as if you wanted to, sorry, if you just wanted to add to the fact of the, the passion, passion for your work, pat, the love for what you do. I do. Um, I think, uh, I think our, I think our clients, our energy and enthusiasm based on that alone, that's what, that's what carries this team. And uh, they'll see right through you if you don't have it. Don't, I think the number one thing, the number one problem that that I feel that the, the that the industry might not not be able to get 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 past is that they they overthink everything so much. Where you guys, that, you know, everyone's just a we're just normal, everyone we're all people, man. You know, and they just want someone they can trust, someone that they like to help them. You've got to have everything else. You can't. And I always, I mean, this team here, we treat everything like if there's one. I mean, our editing, our filming, um, our post processing with all of our photos, everything's got to be perfect, right? You can't have you can't have a week a week. Uh, link in the in the chain, but uh, I'm just I'm everyone. Uh, you just got to know do the do the basics very well. Uh, your personality, your enthusiasm, and your energy. Uh, that's what gets you at the door. All the other stuff's great. You got to know that stuff too. But that's that's uh that that alone will get you in the door and get you get you business. Even if you don't know what you're doing with the camera, that alone will get you places. Rock and roll. All right, guys. Well, we're going to get these questions going. Again, if anybody is in guest mode, there's quite a few of you. Uh, if you want to try to submit a question or use the chat, just log in via Facebook or Twitter. Um, and if you don't want to link up to those, you can create your own account. Might be uh, take a little bit of extra time for this one to do that. But uh, Facebook or Twitter is easily done. Uh, then we'll add your question to the screen queue. Keep it business related. Um, I know we all want to have fun and, and do fun, funny things and stuff, but we really want to make sure people get massive, massive value out of these calls. And I really, you know, we respect Joe and respect his time, and so we appreciate him taking the time to do this today. So let's get at it. So the first question here is from Jacob uh, Simberger. Have you had amazing interns? What is your intern process? I'm assuming he might have been an intern, but uh, I know that you've you've actually uh, gained a lot from that. So if you want to talk about interns for just a second and how that's helped your business, 
uh, that would be great. Yep. So we get about 50 emails. Um, I'd say about 50 to 100 emails a year on like people wanting to be an intern for Switzer Film. Uh, we uh, we did get a, a guy in the call, Jacob. He was one of our interns last year. I'll tell you what, uh, a lot of you guys, uh, for your future, when you when you ever want to hire someone, you're thinking, how, you know, how, to going through the whole process of hiring someone, um, there's not a better way to test the waters than by having an internship program. So what we do is a couple times a year, we'll actually take two interns on and we'll interview 10 or 15 different interns and from those we'll, we'll choose the best couple interns. Uh, we have them we have them do fun shoots with us. We have them um, sometimes help with the actual real work stuff. Um, sometimes sometimes they'll uh, sometimes they'll take out the trash. Is that, isn't that right, Jacob? But we uh, we have a lot of fun with them and I think what it does for us is actually what it does for them it gives them experience, but what it does for us is it makes us feel just like it, we're just inspired to do what we love again. And uh, that adds a lot to it. So I, if you guys can get interns, I think it's your future. It's a way to not hire a person and then have it not work out and have to fire them. So with interns, you're able to, to see how they work. You're, you're able to get, a, I tell you what, over, over a couple of months, you can see you can see how a person is, uh, how their work ethic is, um, their energy level, uh, their their ability to, to long-term think with you about, I mean, all these things that you look for, whatever you're looking for in a, and a future employee, the internship, it's a big win. You got to, you got to do it. It doesn't cost you anything, and uh, yeah, it's roll. really worked out for us. I can roll. All right, we've got a question from Anna. She's up in Canada. Uh, I actually got to speak with her the other day on the phone, and uh, she's rocking and rolling up there, and really trying to take things to the next level. She says, "I don't want to video the event, but would like to make one of their uh, love stories to be shown at the reception. Is there a market for that?" How do I break in? Thank you. But now in my conversation, I just want to say a little bit about her. She's not wanting to actually get into filming weddings. She, she would rather just be able to create the couple's love story and have that shown at the reception. How should she go about that process um, of doing that? She's also doing it for uh, senior citizens making kind of life stories, but she'd like to start it with the couples you know, early on. But she's just not into wanting to take on that live event. So, Sure. Um, there's absolutely a market for that, um, and she can sell, I think, as many as she wants to sell with, with those. The, the way to do that is to have a dynamite product first. So what I would do if I, have, if I, haven't, if I started with, and we've done love stories before too, and we, we don't push them as much as we used to push them because we don't enjoy doing them like we used to enjoy doing. But I will say if you want to do them, the number one thing would be have the greatest one to show off. So you got to have something that you can show someone where they can't, like, they, there's no way they could say no. So what you do is you get someone that, like, that she feels, I think if she hasn't done anything, just get someone that you feel would be, would be the perfect couple for that, do it. Okay? Rock it out. Just do it for sure. Whatever it takes out, yeah. Film, film the reaction of them on, on Facebook, right? I put it on Facebook that night when they saw their love story and all the, the tears and everything. Show that love story, too, online or whatever so people can see it. But then you have this. People, people are going to buy emotionally. Mm -hmm. You can't just have this uh, as part of your package and say, "Hey, uh, this this is my package. This has a love story." They're not gonna. They want to know. They want to feel it. They want to feel what it's like to, to have that. So if you get the right couple that's, that's that uh, that shows their love for each other, you know, and, and that you, they do it really on in the love story, I think you'll sell them. Sell as many as you want to sell. Everyone want to. Everyone want to have one if you do it right like that. I just want to add the one thing on your thoughts. Um, what do you feel in regards to her not wanting to film the wedding and other videographers potentially don't want to, I was telling her, some videographers may, like you said, not want to offer that. How would you go about not filming the wedding when there might be another videographer films the wedding, but she may just create that love story? I mean, do you think that there's any conflict there? Oh, absolutely. No, no. She can let the guy, I mean, a lot, I, don't, I think a lot of filmmakers, they don't, they probably, um, they're probably not. They're probably the majority are probably not doing love stories. I would guess. So mm -hmm. I, I think she's onto something here that they're probably not going to either either offer or or do as good. I think she has to go on when she does this. You want to have You want to be the best at in your market. You want to be. You want to be. You know what I mean. You want to show them something they haven't seen before. Show them something they haven't seen before. So make it short. You know we don't. I don't think they need an eight minute love story video. 
I always we have like a three to four minute rule here, like three to four minutes, man. If you keep someone's attention for three to four minutes, you've yeah. done something. You know? Yeah. You'll so. lose them after that. Absolutely, guys. Well, let's keep rapid fire. We got a lot of questions queued up. Um, and I want to make sure we, we get as many of them in as we can. Uh, Jared Schneider says, question for both. Do either of you work with ad agencies? And if so, how did you get your foot in the door early on? Um, I'll let you go. I, I'm not going to ever say too much on here because this is mainly about you. We can. Uh, I'll mention some of the stuff, how they get more access to us. But um, go ahead, my man. Yeah, well, we actually have, we, we've not worked a whole lot with ad agencies, just a, just a few of them. So um, I, I could just say that we, 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 through other people, through relationships, we've gotten brought aboard these ad, ad agencies. We haven't cold called, knocked on doors, or, or, or gone after and attacked them. So it's probably a question maybe you could answer better than me, because the, the, the two that we've worked with, and they've been, have been awesome, and we know them now, but we have something that we do all, we're not working with different agencies all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll add a little bit. I mean, quite frankly, yeah. I mean, the majority of our work is being taken on um, just by us as the whole company. Same thing with you guys. I mean, ultimately, if you're hiring, we're not really being hired out individually, you know, or we're not being hired out to where somebody else is taking care of, you know, all the creative and all this kind of stuff. It's like if, if, if you're going to hire Gebs or you're going to hire Schweitzer Film, they're going to do everything for you from start to finish in regards to the video. Um, I mean, we've done a couple things, but mainly some of the stuff that I had was actually freelance shooting. I, I just personally was freelance, and again, the connection came through a same day edit and a wedding and, and, and that kind of, you know, map there. Um, not that you can't get in the door with without doing weddings, um, but my thing would be put your work in front of them. I mean, depending on who you are or what you're doing, uh, if, if you're a full-blown company, I think it can be a little bit more different. I don't have a lot to talk to that, but if you're a great shooter or you're a great editor or you have certain things that you bring a lot to the table, um, just set up, again, we're big, just set up conversations, set up meetings, set up lunch, set up something. That's how, I mean, guys, I, I tell people all the time, I don't know if Joe really knows this, I mean, I booked my first $4,000 wedding off a referral from this guy right on the screen. I mean, I was, I was you know, one step behind these guys in pricing and things, and I took them out, we, we, I went and met them at their studio, and within like a month or so, they had sent me a lead that booked my, my $4,000 package. And so it was, it was freaking awesome. So, I mean, building relationships, guys, whether it's ad agencies or whatever, is a huge, huge asset. Don't be afraid to reach out because you think they're competition or whatever. So, Yeah, and actually, just, just to feed off that again, just real quick, all of our – the people that – everyone that I've, that I've ever helped in life, I don't, I don't help people in life to get something back. I, I genuinely care about the, my friends and the people that, that – um, that, I, that, uh, that I'm around. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the friends in the business, like my friends and my, the people that I know best, they're the ones that are getting us involved in the ad agencies. They're the ones that need help on shoots. They're the ones that uh, are overbooked and need us to take help stuff with and introduce us to new people. So I mean, I really is, it's, if, 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 if you guys get one thing from this call, man, if one thing at all, it's relationships, period. That's what, for us, it's what has helped us the most. Absolutely, my man. Let's keep rocking and rolling. A lot on here. Uh, Joe, as your business grew, how did you get a feel for where your price point should be, both wedding and corporate? That's a great question. Pricing is always a big, big problem for people and where that should fall and all that kind of stuff. So talk about your procedure with where your pricing has been through the years. And I know it's had, you know, it's fluctuated. So. Well, I know for a lot of the guys and girls, I mean, it's, it's scary to raise your price to two thousand dollars and you get two and you're like man there's no way i'm charging four are you crazy and you break to that threshold and then you're like there's no way people would pay fifteen thousand dollars for a you know there's um there there is no there's no limit to what people would pay for your services you guys gotta you gotta do what, what you're what you're comfortable doing but I, you gotta push yourself um everyone has a different business strategy Everyone's different. Maybe you're, maybe volume is your business. If volume is your business and getting the most market share, then of course you don't want to have the highest prices. Um, here in St. Louis, our our, our area, uh, like our our average uh, is is uh, twelve thirteen thousand dollars for photo and video. We didn't start there, right? Okay, we were that we were that little guy charging just a few years ago, charging a couple thousand dollars for for video, and uh, you know so. It's something we've matured into, and we've always consistently raised our price when we felt like when, when I can look at someone in the eye, and, and I can right now today, 
if you guys walk in my office, if Michael, if you're getting married tomorrow, and you're like, Joe, dude, yeah, I want you to do my video and say, hey, Mike, we'll do everything, and I can look at you in the eye, and I know I will create so much value. I will rock your wedding so hard. I know it's worth $13,000. and I, You'll be so proud of everything that you have. I know it. And I think you have to be able to, your clients, they feel that. If you're nervous about your price, they're, they're going to not be able to do that. Yeah, so you don't. I don't go in there and say thirteen thousand. I mean, it's and I it's I know it's going to be amazing. So uh, you you can charge whatever you want with prices. Everyone can, but uh, get out of your comfort zone. I love the lux. I I think that the most un untapped market is the luxury market. I think most luxury weddings don't have video, and uh, I think everyone can raise their prices and go into. That's a great strategy this year. That everyone should have is increase your quality. Go for be the best you can possibly be. Have other filmmakers come out and help you with your with your shoots. Attack the luxury market because most of those video, I most of the ones I, there's no video people there. There's nobody people there. So it's a huge opportunity and uh, undiscovered. And you guys can, it's a good price point because most people are comfortable spending as much as they are in video as as they are in photography. They're comfortable with that if if they gotta have it. If you have that sample, you can show them, and it's amazing. So prices, I know they probably skip on your question, but if you, if you have follow up, you know, put it in there. I mean, I found too, Joe, that you know, the 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 larger dollar amounts are actually a, are an untapped market because the reality is everybody thinks they can't do it, so there's a less people competing for that piece of the pie. Um, if you wouldn't mind taking one second, because I know it'll be beneficial before, for people before we move on to the next one. Uh, um, you got a few, you know, two pointers that you can give people to to tap into that. What were some of your biggest breakthroughs to tap into more of that luxury market? So, I think uh, with the luxury market, it, it comes down to who you know. So let's say you know no one. I'm assuming no one knows anyone in the luxury market. So how do you meet someone in your area? Uh, I think a great place to start is with go to the best photographer and go to the best wedding planner, wedding coordinator. Take that wedding coordinator, call her up, buy her lunch, give her a give her a, a, a free one minute promo video or something. Something that takes you a day to do that could, could, could that is going to help her business that may or may not help you. You can't go in there saying, oh, if I gave you this one minute, you're going to book me a wedding. It doesn't work like that. But do something that you can do to help her to get to know her or him and and those wedding coordinators, every high-end wedding has a planner plan or a coordinator, and they're going to have a high-end photographer. So getting to know those people and we're somehow helping them. Um, and I've helped a lot. I've done a lot of freebie work, man, for helping my yeah. uh, photographers out or, or wedding coordinators. And I don't, like, I don't care, honestly. Like, I do it because I like them, right? I know, like, in the back end, I'm probably going to, yeah, they'll probably call me, not for all their ways, maybe just a couple, but that's great. But I want to I wanna help their, them in their business, and I know they're going to. It, it all comes back, and that's you got to you got you got to get to know them. You got to spend time with people, and that's a great way to do it is is to get to know the people right in your backyard. They're planning the luxury wedding. There's there's big weddings going down in your backyard. I'm telling you, um, get to know them. I'm uh, just putting on Mark's thing. It's so true. I mean, Joe helps, and, and even the things that I've done. Some of the biggest things that have happened in my life. Some of the biggest jobs I did where I just wanted to give 100% value to the person that I was doing it for, with no no expectation of anything in return. If you guys are seeking out people with the intention of getting something from them, you know, you're going to be let down a lot. If you just go in with the full passion towards who you're going to help and you just want to provide value to them, it's a home run. So um, next question here. Let's keep moving along. We've got, we got a lot of stuff queued up. Anybody who's in guest mode, if you want to interact or get in the chat, log in via Facebook or Twitter. And by doing that, just try to chat or try to submit a question and it will ask you to do that. Um, appreciate everybody being on. We've got about 20, 25 minutes here left, uh, so get your questions in. We're going to try to get through as many as possible. If you want to stay up with expert interrogations, there's an email at top and bottom. We'll keep you notified of all the rocking uh, people that we'll be having coming up. So let's see here. Scott Tracy, how much raw footage are you guys shooting for an SDE? I have clients asking for it, but I don't see any profit in hiring a bigger staff to do what I could do myself the next day. What do you think? So raw footage, shooting for an SDE. We never have we never have customers or clients ask for raw footage. Um, let me let me jump on something that I maybe didn't discuss or that I need to maybe back up here. We're providing a music video. 
we're provide they watch what they see what they're that is what they're getting a music video um, the majority of, I mean our first price point is just a music video like there's no there's no even option for raw footage for anything that's what they're getting that's what they want is the music video that's what we're that's all we're doing okay we're using music that's popular and we're sh we're well, half the time showing it that day and half the time we're we're, uh, we're not showing the same data. So that's that's our strategy behind that. They can, in addition to that, get, we will have a single camera that records the entire reception, the entire wedding, right? That's put on, on the DVD. That's that's not raw footage. That's just the ceremony and the reception. That's, that's very simple. We keep things very easy to understand with our video. We don't ever have a problem with, oh my gosh, I want to see all this raw footage. We will, if they just... Got to, if they would ask that question, we just give them a hard drive. Make it simple. We're not going to burn a DVD of all the raw footage or something like that. We don't shoot much in a wedding. Everyone shoots a lot longer than we do. We we get that three or four second clip and it's done. Like we move on. Like there's not a lot. We don't have hours of footage. I mean, what's in that music video is pretty much that's what's been shot. There's nothing else they're seeing. So right. Okay. Rock and roll. Lots here. Let's see. Answer Scott's question. Raw footage editing time. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Um, do you like cameras? I'm just trying to. Right, here we go. Uh, Maui Video Productions and Adventures is Mr. Brandon, Colorado Brandon, a uh, friend of mine actually. Uh, welcome, buddy. <laughs> How much After Effects do you use on wedding films? Uh, not a lot, actually. Uh, just every now and then. The, we did do some for the for the lightsaber wedding. Uh, so we, we had a uh, it was a star. They talked about Star Wars throughout the whole ceremony. So we did a little fun shoot with them. We did some some After. But it's most of the time uh, we're just we're coloring the project. You know, going just going through color, and and that's it as far as, far as special effects go. Sometimes we'll use a little. Um, I like a light filter to like have it flashlight, but we don't. That's not not at every single wedding. It just it just uh, it just depends on 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 the wedding, but always colored. And sometimes there's a few light lighting effects put in put in the videos. Got it. Uh, we won't go on about this too long. Mr. Matt Thompson from Song Freedom, welcome, my friend. Uh, welcome. I'll put your link up in there. And if if Ashley or Katie or them have the link to this lightsaber video and they want to put it in the chat, that would be awesome. So people can link up and we can share that. But how much word of mouth did that do for you? Just real quick. Um, you know, did the, did the Star Wars video create? Oh, man. Like, it's every dude's dream, right? To have to get married to a gorgeous girl and hold a lightsaber for your, on your wedding day. Um, actually, I have the... I have in front of me here. This is what the... There you go. Oh, that's awesome. Beautiful. And this is actually what our final product looks like. Uh, the, the uh, it's like when you do something different like that. That was something that wasn't we didn't have that planned because we didn't know the pastor was going to talk about uh, Star Wars and lightsabers. But, so, but when he did do it, when you take the extra time to do to do special effects and to we took the bride and groom out a day later and just did a little shoot in the evening with them to add more footage to the video. And when you do something, when you go go above and beyond, I mean we. We probably I don't know how many thousands of dollars we booked from that wedding, but it's just something different that no one's seen online. And when your videos get four or five thousand, six thousand hits, people are going to see it. The right people are going to see it. And they're going to they're going to want you to do something. So yeah, it's helped out a lot. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's let's keep rocking and rolling here. Uh, we've got Felicia Wiggins. Welcome. Thank you so much for being on the call. What kinds of marketing efforts do you utilize to retain your corporate clients? So. Marketing for corporate, um, there is, uh, I would say that the majority of majority of our guys just is, is come from what I've been talking about. Really, it's just uh, I, I very rarely go out and knock on doors, and I'm, I'm the one in charge of selling for our corporate. So how I do it really is is I, I've already met people in my life, and I'm, I'm working off a referral business, so. Um, their friends, their the other business, other businesses that are just like theirs. Uh, I'm feeding off of all that and, and helping those those companies out. That's 
the way I, I market to corp, to, for our corporate. Um, there's not much more to it than, than that for us. Yeah, I mean, our corporate stuff, I mean, guys, we I've utilized really effectively some of the, the, the free stuff. Honestly, like Joe has mentioned, I mean, we've we've made connections and done done a small promo film or something for somebody, um, but we do it so much more effectively now. It's not a matter of somebody comes in and they don't have much money, and then you create a you know they wheel and deal with you. It's more like I've kind of reached out to provide value, and then stuff has come from. That. So as opposed to in the early days, it was like free work, and then it just resulted in more free work, and it was all misunderstood understood of how, how why we were doing it, how it was happening. They were just trying to take advantage of you. Um, so it's a whole game changer now of how we've utilized kind of pro bono type of work to get, honestly, huge contracts. So, see, so next question. Yeah, to, in, to answer a question, to give her, yeah, to give her a hint on the marketing side, because marketing is so complicated, but it's, 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 it's all the social stuff, but it, it's, it's really doing, it's social, the Facebook, Twitter, the Instagram, it's, it's constantly being everywhere all the time. It's 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 doing great work in your weddings or whatever business that you're that people are able to see your your put your films with. It's it's a combination of every, you're always marketing yourself. But then where all your stuff where our stuff's really being marketed is by and I said this earlier in the conversation, it's with our it's with our customers that we have. They're the ones selling and marketing for us. They're the ones telling all the other uh, the people about us. Treat your so. current customers like gold. Um, they're so important. Okay, um, Scott Tracy, how many people are staffing on the day of a wedding for a same day edit for you guys? There's always about two or th three max actually for me, usually two for my company. I won't go on about it, but uh, how about you, Joe? For, for video, uh, how many people staffing up for an SDE is only two? We don't want more than yeah. For us, having more than two is just, you know, we're fighting for control ourselves within our, with our we all want, that we could not handle another one. Um, so that makes it go go great for us. We have two photographers and two video. All right, Randy, what's up, buddy? Uh, what kind of non-wedding live events do you do? What does that part of your business look like? Uh, live event, it could it's a lot. It's, it could be sports, um, football stuff we've done, baseball. Uh, live events, gosh. Corporate events, uh, just a, the list goes on. Uh, a lot of the stuff we do with live events, I think that's where we're, we feel most comfortable. Is we feel most comfortable probably being uncomfortable, which is kind of kind of strange, but we uh, we feel like we're able to uh, excel best in those events where there's no time to, there's just no time, and you have to grab the best angle, the best shot. And we are, uh, I would say, but sports is a big part of what we do. But with our non-wedding events, sports in general. All right. Let's see here. So that, that, All right. So that, that, uh, we got business, yeah, I mean, and, and honestly, like we we've done, and, and don't laugh at people. Like or I'm sure people will laugh on here. We, I mean, cheerleading stuff, live events, dance. Uh, we we've done birth birthday parties. I mean, right. I know we're a mature company. We shouldn't be doing these things, right? And but you know, it's it's a uh, it's a we never say no to anything, and there's always ways to make things cool in in your own way. So, I mean, you just got to go in there. And, so corporate to us is could be anything, and li our live event corporate for, for us is is you name it, we've done it. factories, and I mean, it's everything. And I, I always call it non-wedding. I, I don't even like to call it corporate. I just say anything non-wedding. I mean, that's kind of what 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 we call it. Um, do you have a corporate pricing menu, or is it a project priced differently for each each project by Pounds Media? Oh, corporate pricing. We do have a corporate pricing menu, and um, our corporate pricing uh, typically it's it's more than our weddings, but we it sometimes I give it out, sometimes I don't. So we have one that we do go off of. So we don't charge by the hour or by a daily rate. It's 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 scheduled out and actually uh, I can um, well I guess I can't pull it up for these guys to see but it's it's separated out in, into four like basically four different options kind of like our wedding our weddings we have we have five options we have four different options where they can choose from and it and it starts at uh, five five thousand dollars and goes to just we have a we're go a category where it goes to fifteen thousand dollars plus and just we have little packages in between those 
So three hours, for example, would get you the first three hours of shooting only. It would give you the first package for, for five, and then it goes up from there. And we, we always, we, I don't give it to every customer because everything's different. If I'm doing a live event somewhere for 12 hours, I'm not going to show them my corporate pricing. I'm just going to give them a, a nice, I'm gonna put, if I'm ever giving a corporate quote, I'm doing, I'm customized for them. Mm -hmm. And I always tell them, hey, I'll, I'll get it to you sometime, you know, in a couple of days or whatever. I'm getting that to them. I want to get that thing to them right away. And it's organized with their name on it, and it's customized for them. I don't want to send them something random because they'll look at it and be like, I don't know where I follow. And I, they don't do this. They don't know. They just want to know what the heck you're going to charge them. So, Absolutely. Well, hey, guys, if you also, again, if you're on expertinterrogations.com, above or below, what we're going to try to do, too, is we're going to follow up different links or some different things typically for guys we have on calls via email with some links to things that they've got um, that they'd like to share from individual experts. So make sure uh, Keith is actually our assistant over at Create Insights. That's how this uh, call is kind of sponsored by Create Insights. My partner Chris Simmons and I uh, have an educational site for helping video professionals take their stuff to the next level. So uh, you can check that out but make sure you get on the email list so that we can notify you with upcoming experts and special links that they talk about. Um, and different things. So we're going to keep rocking this out here and try to get through the last set of questions before we'll let Chris go. I mean, uh, before we'll let Joe go. <laughs> I'm so used to saying Chris. Um, Brent Thacker, this guy is a rock star. This guy, I actually did a one-on-one -on -one coaching a couple years ago, and his business is just he's crushing it, absolutely crushing it. So we're super excited about that. Um, Brent Thacker, we get a lot more inquiries for corporate jobs, but we were finding out that they always end up taking more time than we project. How do you go about pricing and finding that sweet spot? So inquiries about corporate jobs and they're always ending up taking more time than, oh, okay. So yeah, so finding that sweet spot for corporate, that's a great question actually. The, I have found the same thing, Brent, so I, I know how you feel. It, I feel for corporate, uh, we will actually charge a little bit more than we think the project always costs or than we feel that we should charge for it because we feel like we're always at the end of the day corporate just it just takes more time I feel uh, weddings you know it can't last longer than that 12 hours so you're good so with corporate we want to make sure that we uh, we're, we're we want to extra overcharge a little bit so we can give them that extra service and anticipate that it's going to take an extra day or whatever it takes. I feel like with corporate, if they say it's going to take two days, it's going to take four days. If they say I only need these shots, they're going to add 30 more shots to them. And instead of me, the one thing I tell you what, you do not want to, you don't, you don't, you don't want to say no to somebody. No is not good. You won't go very far. So charging a little bit more and, and losing out on a few projects, is, it's okay. But I feel like you've got to give that corporate customer more, more than what is even on that contract, right? And they always, because they don't know what's good or what they should be shooting or anything like that. So you've got to have uh, some room to play there. So that's why I would actually, uh, I would just say whatever that, if, if that 20% more, is that 30% more? Whatever you feel that you're the bottom dollar, that as low as you can go, add, add, add a percent to that, you know, 20, 30% because, man, you're going to, that way you can, you have that flexibility to give them extra service or give them something else. And you look like a rock star or a hero to them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, well, we've got the last one will be by Matthew J. here. We're not, we've got six questions in here. We're, we're probably not going to take any more after that. We appreciate, appreciate yeah. the rock star. Just follow up on Brent. Brent. Brent, too, on the corporate Brent, I always tell people, like, I always compare, I'm like, hey, dude, like, our wedding prices start at, you know, say, say five or $6,000, whatever your, or for that, whatever your starting price is. If you tell your corporate clients that, like, hey, man, our wedding started for one day, you know, Corporate's a, it's a lot more intense, and, and they're going to be like, oh, man, for a wedding? Well, that's no wonder he's going to charge me $8,000 for this corporate project because that's, you know, so that might help you. I want to say one thing real quick for people out there. There's been a lot of back and forth between different guys, you know, saying, oh, my gosh, I can't even mention weddings or corporate guys won't book us and blah, blah, blah. What has been your take on mentioning the corporate? You just mentioned it right there, but how, how has that worked for you guys doing both, and how has that affected either one? Just real quick. Well, Walk into corporate. You walk into a corporate meeting and you you show them. I, I we've shown them wedding videos with, with uh, uh, tables of thirty executive people sitting around like, why should we hire this group to do a video? We'll show them a a wedding and the and the dudes to be crying. So I'm not. Um, I just want to show whatever that you guys know this. You're you're only as good as your last project as your latest work. 
If that's mm -hmm. a wedding, if that's something you did for Major League Baseball, I don't care. You show them the, the coolest, newest things you've been doing. And and if it's a wedding that they know, and I, we always tell people this, and, and they're thinking this whole time when they're watching that wedding, they're like, if these cats can pull this off at one day, man, they're going to make my brand look amazing. You know, so you've got, don't be afraid to show weddings at all. Now, if you're showing a 12 minute wedding, you've got a problem there, okay? You show it, two, two or three, you know, your three minute bit wedding or whatever, your, your power, most powerful, hopefully is your latest. And, and, and like Ashley says here on the, on the screen here, you're appealing to that emotion, absolutely. All right, so we've got, um, we've got Jared up here again. Joe, when you have a wedding couple inquire, do you send them a price sheet or pricing info via email, or do you meet with each couple? Where, where's that process of you, you getting the price? Do, they, do you get to talk to them first? Like, how, how's that going with the, the pricing? So I'm not the one that, that, that is doing all the wedding. I'm not with the wedding relationships with the bride and grooms. Um, that's, I, I meet with them here at the office, but Ashley sets everything up. I'm just a, she's, she's the one in charge of a whole wedding sales division. So when she, the couples normally do, do come in here, though, and we hang out with them. I mean, it's, they come in here, we put on a, we, we, we put on our version of a show. You know, we, we have the bottle of Cokes, and we have the bottle of Skis around here in our area because it's this popular soda. But it's, it's, we take all the little things here, we sit them down, and we, we, we want to meet with them. The whole team wants to meet with them if we can. If sometimes they can't meet the whole team, then, I mean, we've, we've had brides come here from California to meet us but before they booked us. We've had, you know, we've traveled places to meet if people are serious. We do want to meet them, and it's very important. Sometimes you can't understand, but uh, I, if you can meet them, you always want to want to meet them. And we, that's what we try to do. At least half of our team is always on any kind of sales meeting here. They're usually coming to our office because then, then you're in control. You can show your, your DVD player works. Your computer works. You have the right sound system versus you don't want to go to a Starbucks on a MacBook Pro, and they're not going to get that same experience. Um, and they're not going to want to, to me, like, I, I, gotta, I, wanna see the, I wanna see what it's all about. And I think you get to have an environment where they can see that. Awesome, real quick from John Zale. John, thank you for being on the call. If you're having issues with the audio, try to refresh. I don't think too many people should be having any issues with the echo anymore or with overlap or anything like that. Every, time, every once in a while, Spreecast acts up a little bit. We just got a couple left, Joe, and we'll finish this up. Uh, real quick, software use for color grading. So right now we're in transition, but right now for our color grading, uh, we're using um, Final Cut. Or it was with the old Final Cut, but it was called Color. So we're, we're still using that. We're making that work for now, and we're about, we'll probably have to change again. We always have to change, but that's what we're using right now. Awesome. Uh, two left. We'll finish up. We've got, uh, not for me, but this was one we had to queue up. How do you handle control of the ceremony with churches? Do they fight you on the wedding day? Um, I, I think that was from, unless you understand what he's saying, I think that was from Bill. Um, so I don't know if, if he's got the follow-up yeah. there. So, Bill, uh, I love the question, Bill. So, yeah, what we do is we, uh, we walk in there like we own the place, and we don't talk to him. So we, we, have, we never talk to them beforehand and ask permission for anything. We just uh, we go in there pretty late because we're with the bride and groom beforehand, and we're setting up our stuff. And if he tries talking to us, <laughs> generally we walk the other way. Or if he tells us, hey, you know, you can't step anywhere or do anything or shoot from the balcony or wherever he's going to, we won't, we just don't tell each other. And, and one of us just, hey, we, I didn't know, you know, so I'm with, we're, we're, we want to get up there and get the shot. Got to do it, yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. We got we to get a shot this bride there she's going to be yeah. so just hope it's that's what I am ask for instead of asking for permission ask for forgiveness uh, Bill saying huh I don't know if that was if we were referencing the right thing um, but if you've got one follow up to that we'll take it and then we're going to finish off this is a quick one Matthew J I have questions been bothering me for quite some time is it Switz or Schweitzer it's it's Schweitzer Matt but but Switzer's fine too, but it's Schweitzer, technically. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, rock and roll. Um, well, that's pretty much going to uh, conclude our expert interrogation call here today with Joe Schweitzer or Schweitzer Film. I'm going to link up here if you're on expertinterrogations.com. Uh, we've got all the links and bio and everything about, um, about Joe. You can check out his links to his website. 
Uh, if you also want to be notified about future calls for expert interrogations, just be sure to sign up for the email. We're also going to try, try to send links to different little price sheets or things that each expert um, you know, talks about on the call uh, to you. We have, we have uh, actually Brett Culp's on the call today. We're going to have him next, next Tuesday. He'll be rocking out. We have a couple archives that are really awesome. John Goolsby, Godfather Films, was on last week. He had a really great call. And uh, also Ryan Coral. So we truly appreciate you being on today, Joe. And we want to again say this is sponsored by CreateInsights.com. My, my partner, Chris Simmons, and I have an educational site. We're really trying to have leading resources to help uh, video professionals grow their video production companies. I had a lot of pain in getting to where I am today through all the, through all the years. And uh, I really want to give back. We're really wanting to help people. There's so much tech out there, uh, but not a lot of people helping people who have good work figure out how to get more work. So uh, through these expert interrogations and through Create Insights, which you can find the link at the top, we'll also uh, link up here. Uh, but we have an awesome assistant who's been on the call here, uh, Keith and uh, our kit. So you can email us to uh, info at Create Insights if you guys have any questions that we could follow up with Joe. We might get him on again in the future. Or we might get Ashley actually on to talk about weddings. So uh, that's all we got. We appreciate everybody being on the call today. And uh, we hope we'll see you again on a future expert interrogation. Uh-oh, what do we got going on here? Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's hear you talk, Darth Vader. Does this work at all? I don't know. That's, our, that, that's all I got. I don't know. I don't have anything. Where's the rest of the team? Get the team in to say a big hello real quick. Get them in here. They've been on the call the whole time. And we're going we're gonna to cut this puppy off. Get them in. in. Ashley. Team. team. Show the so the epic team. Katie, Ashley, Mark. Oh, my God. Look at these crazy. Look at these people. They love what they do. Look at He's eating some freaking salad. We got Darth Vader. We got I don't know what in the back. They are freaking God. rock stars. <laughs> Help you out there. Thank you, See guys. you guys. Rock and roll. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for yeah, being on, guys. Peace. Peace yeah, out, everybody. Yeah,